Stephen Carroll writes, Hello, Movie Talk cast. There is a report going around saying that Leonardo DiCaprio has decided to skip on Star Wars Episode 7 so that he can appear in the upcoming, hopefully, Robotech live action movie. If this is true, it makes me feel better about the treatment the movie is being given. Also, to skip on Star Wars, he must be a huge fan of Robotech. If this is true, have you guys heard anything to validate this, or is it just a rumor? Would be pretty cool to see him in a Robotech movie. Um, this is less than a rumor. <laughs> like, there's a rumor, and there's less than a rumor. Um, don't don't be fooled, folk. Whenever you hear something outrageous like this, look into it. See what the source is. And unfortunately, this is coming from a source um, that I won't name. But a source that is becoming increasingly unreliable with with their scoops, um, and that that hurts me because I actually really like the guys there and I like hanging out with them when they when I have the odd chance. But you know, it's like my dad. My dad can tell me I caught a fish this big today. You know, I love my dad dearly, but I'm not going to believe him. Um, <laughs> and you no, know, look. First of all, you're you're there's something wrong with your mental uh, faculties if you think for a second that first of all, Robotech. Um, is no closer to being a reality now than it was uh, three years ago, um, unfortunately. And also, unfortunately, Pacific Rim, the financial results of Pacific Rim is making it even more difficult for uh, films like Robotech or, or other things like that to actually get moving and get off the ground. But one of the biggest things that makes me think you'd have to be crazy if you actually believe that Leonardo DiCaprio is looking at being in Robotech is Leonardo DiCaprio now is considered one of the best actors on the planet. He is, he's just consistently one of the best and he works with the best. You know, the guy is used to just hanging around with and, and being directed by Martin Scorsese for heaven's sakes and, and other big name directors. Right. And who's directing Robo who is said to be on right now for directing Robotech I can't remember the dude's name right now, but he, I, he's never directed a feature before. He's a commercial director. Not that great directors can't come from directing commercials. I'm not saying that. But right now, he hasn't done anything. So you think Leonardo DiCaprio is going to be all anxious and chomping on his fingernails to line up to do a Robotech movie that they haven't been able to get off the ground for like seven years they've been trying to get this thing going after a Pacific Rim has just lost a studio big money? I, it's just it's just ridiculous. And once again, look at the source. No, it's no. This isn't true. This uh, isn't true in the in the least. Anyway, Schnapp, John, what do you think? John, I I heard like a different rumor that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was going to be like he's leaving Star Wars because he wanted to be in Thundar the Barbarian, the live action. Version. <laughs> That's what I he's going to play Thundar. Uh, actually, Schnapp, your your news is is out of date. He's actually now turned down Thundar. Oh, really? To be the new Flash. Wow, because oh. yeah, that was yesterday. Jack Black was going to be. Uh, the Flash. So maybe Jack Black's going to play Thunder the Barbarian. Leonardo's going to play the Flash. No, no, right. he's replacing Henry Cavill to be the new Man of Steel in the upcoming Whoa. Man of Steel and Batman film. That you just blew my mind. That's the <laughs> new rumor. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Snap, do you put anything in this at all? What the truth about it? No way. It's it's, it's no way. When I read that, I laughed out loud because, I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio would leave Star Wars to make Akira because that's his own company is invested in that. That's something he would like to do. Robotech, sorry, I don't, I, I've never even heard of the, the two connections until yesterday. And it's just like, where's this news coming from? Not that it's not, not the, like 1% out of a million possible, but that just seems like bizarro, like strange conjecture that somehow somebody ran with and then it's popping up everywhere. All right, what's next? Um, first, before we get to the next mailbag question, I just think that AMC should start the rumor that Chrisley is going to be the next Wonder Woman. Just throwing that out there. I actually heard that from um, uh, not Joss Whedon. I actually heard that from Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder, totally. Zack Snyder called me. I can't prove it, but Zack Snyder called me and told me they're looking at Chrisley Kennedy as the next Wonder Woman. You know what? Best I don't want to. I don't want to start like false rumors. But yesterday, Jean Claude Van Damme called me. <clears throat> And told me that Chris Lee Kennedy is going to be Wonder Woman. In the Bloodsport remake. It, shooting it in Brazil, and it's like hardcore like UFC fighting style stuff. I don't know. It's weird. Awesome. 